going on guys welcome to my last video in this transfer talk series uh, slash analysis series and it's on West Ham now if you watch my Albion video which I doubt any of you West fans would have um, I explained that I am recording these on deadline day and um, I'm trying to keep the, the transfer stuff as accurate as I can um, obviously it's going to be like a couple of hours from when I upload this next and God knows what will change in the next five to six hours so um, I'm just going on what I know from Sky Sports uh, and a little bit of independent research as well there's not too much going on anyway at West Ham United so we'll get in there and I'll just I like to compliment them actually um, obviously there's a whole thing with Big Sam getting sacked last, um, last season and he sh that the West fans wanted him out the ball took the time with him and they they gave him their confidence and to be fair he's really replayed them this this um this season. Not only are the results better and you're shooting up the table, but the performances and the style of play which have been uh, under a little bit of criticism in the past from West Ham have been much, much better. Um and uh, as silly as it sounds and as obvious as it sounds, the reason I think they're playing so well is because they're getting the best out of the players that they've got. Uh, in particular, Stuart Downing. I think it was a, a brilliant move for Sam to move him back inside, um, like he like he did um, whilst he was at Villa for the last season. He was there, he came inside for a little bit, and that for me is probably his best position. He's got a good footballing brain. He's got two very good feet, and he knows where the goal is. So by moving him inside, it, it gives gets him involved in the game a little bit more and allows him to create rather than being on the wing where. He isn't the quickest player in the world, and you know if you got a cold walk up against him or a cliche or a, a very very quick fullback, uh, you're not going to get much joy out of him because he'd probably have to beat the man about three times before he'd be able to get his crossing. Um, so I think that's a very good move, and he's been absolutely fantastic. He has come up under criticism. Um, you know, at Middlesbrough, he's a rising star. You know, he was he was England's hope and saviour. And it, it just had, didn't work out for him, but I'm glad he's settled down at West Ham and he's playing some good football now. I think um, Alex Song, who for me was a signing of the last transfer window in the summer, um, has been phenomenal. It, the, he's a world class player, and the fact that he, he played and was bought by Barcelona <clears throat> um, just a few years ago when they were pro probably at the best just shows how good he is. Um, albeit they got rid of him uh, on loan. I think it's been a fantastic signing, and if if West Ham can't manage to hold on to him towards the end of the season, then um, I think it's going to be a real big miss. Uh, I genuinely think that. I just think his passing range and ability, and th he's got everything. He really has. He doesn't get forward too much, but just as a defensive deep line playmaker as well, he he's really 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 good and a, a really good signing by Big Sam. Um, surprising, but very very good. Um, Winston Reid really looks like he's going to stay at least for now whether he'll sign a new deal or not I'm not too sure um, there was big rumours that he was linked with Arsenal but um, with them signing the Villarreal ex-Villarreal should I say centre back Paulista it looks like Winston Reid will at least be saying um, this transfer window hopefully West Ham can uh, get him a contract and get him signed up similar to the Dalf one um, it didn't look like he was going to stay and he was just going to play out his contracts and leave at the end of the year but um, he, there is loyalty in football and I, I hope Reid repays that because I know he's had a few injury problems at West Ham as well and I, I do think that he should repay them by at least giving him another year but the way football goes and the way agents talk and manipulate things nowadays it doesn't always work out like that uh, and one last player, um, other than the two strikers, like I think Saka and Valencia have been fantastic as well. But uh, Aaron Creswell, I've been really impressed with. He's played game in, game out. He's came up and he's he's really really done well at this level, you know. Um, he's he's not he's not an old um, lad either. He, he's he's okay. He's settled in very well. And I've been impressed with that. Um, the only signing um, coming in is a centre back. Um, Sylvan Distan, and that's probably just to give it a little bit more cover. Um, you've only got three centre backs with Collins, Tompkins, and uh, Winston Reid, of course. Um, uh, that are of note, and that are Barclays Premier League players. So Distin, 
he, he still started a few games for Everton uh, this year, but he's slowing down a little bit, and it's probably just to add numbers for this season um, if they do sign him. Uh, from a distance point of view, I think it would be a silly move, I've got to admit, unless, unless he wants to go and move down to London, um, and that's something that appeals for him. You know, I think he's he's got it all right at West Ham. He's getting about the right amount in game time because of them being in Europe and things like that. And he's been there for so long now. He can't be he can't be thinking that um, of keeping his career going too long at 37 years of age. So it'd be a strange move for me if it happened. But he was seen leaving Everton's training ground with a, uh, a club photographer um, after all the players had left. But um, they did also mention he does do some extra conditioning training and things like that. So I, I really don't know um, what's going to happen with this stand. But it, there is interest from West Ham. Um, one player that could be heading out is Carton Cole. Which I think at West Ham, unless some real money came in for him. If, if, you say, if West Brom, um, who the team links with him, said he's £4 million or whatever... I'd probably be obliged to sell him, but anything uh, like that isn't really a, uh, enticing for West Ham and it's like a useful amount of money, I would ignore it, to be honest. You know, you've only got four strikers um, as it is with Valencia Sacco and Carroll. Carroll, um, you, you know what he's like with his injuries, um, and that would leave you with Sacco and Valencia. It's a bit late probably to get someone else in, so unless I've been coming with a good offer, a real good offer that could. Entice Cole away. Um, I'd have to. I'd have to suggest that they leave it, but it still could happen. And Ravel Morrison, I'm really not sure what's going on with this boy. It's just his temperament. He has got fantastic ability, but yeah, strange one for me. So that is it for the transfer series. Um, and it, I'd just like to thank you all, whoever has watched. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I really do enjoy doing these videos. So. I'm going to keep on doing uh, videos, there will be some game stuff coming out, thinking of maybe doing a manager mode um, on FIFA, maybe some ultimate team stuff, I'm going to have a little think, uh, I'm going to do, there will be a couple of days now where I don't upload anything whilst I'm just thinking about what kind of game modes I can get on and whilst I'm recording some stuff, so again thank you very much for watching, um, if you do enjoy uh, the videos then please drop them a like, leave them comments, uh, West Ham um, fans in particular on this one, I want to know what you think, uh, and I'll get back to all of you, so yeah, thank you once again for watching, and I'll be back soon with more gaming content.